It's very much a bit like Marmite, I feel. What? The actual foundation. And a bit greasy. Oh, it skew out, skew out. I told you I'm very nervous. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're all safe and well. Today I'm doing a video that I'm actually, I'm nervous and excited about. And I haven't been this nervous about making a video in a very, very long time. And it's because the product I'm testing has had a lot of controversy on the internet. I don't know, I'm, I'm just a little bit nervous about it. But as you can tell from the title, I am testing out the new Jones Road What The Foundation. So I have the Jones Road What The Foundation plus two other products to put to the test to see what I think of these products and to see how they apply on my skin. And yeah, I thought I'd put them to the test for you guys. Like I said, I'm a bit nervous about it because I have seen so many people being like, I love it or I hate it. It's very much a bit like Marmite, I feel. So we're gonna test it today. I'm gonna prime my skin the exact same way I would with any other foundation that I use. And then we're gonna put this on and see how it looks on my skin. So if you want to see how it looks on my skin, I told you I'm very nervous, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've just prepped my skin with my Nimia and my YSL Touche Eclat Primer. I really like this, but it's very expensive. Anyway, so I've got the Jones Road website up and we're looking at the, what the foundation. I got this in the shade Light Claire. Now, they don't have a massive shade range, but this isn't meant to be like a full coverage foundation. It's more of a t like skin tint. So the description on the website, WTF is a tinted moisture balm meets traditional foundation. So it's not the full coverage foundation. It's a bit like a tinted moisturizer, but a little bit more. It blends seamlessly into skin, leaving you with an even fresh complexion that looks like your skin on its best day. So we will see. WTF includes skin nourishing ingredients like jojoba oil and sodium hydroxide hyaluronate works flawlessly with the face pencil which i don't have and offers buildable light medium coverage choose from one of 12 shades created to blend across all skin tones wtf is the first of its kind innovation in the clean beauty space so this is what i got so it looks like i quite like the packaging it's it's glass it's quite like a hefty packaging which is quite nice and this is like just about the right size for the product so you're not having like excess packaging that you don't really need. It has already like, I don't know whether you can see that, leaked out and it still has this on it. So we're gonna have a look. I don't know, just look at, it smells really nice but it's liquidy, like that's just dripped on my hand. Oh, I just, I, I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't, does it say anything else? Use with fingers or the spatula, scoop out, scoop out, scoop out the desired amount. Apply directly to the face using the skin brush, sponge, or your fingers. So I've got my Coco Cosmetics marshmallow sponge, but it's just so like oily. I don't know whether this is gonna work on my skin. I have very combination oily to dry skin. Oh, I don't like the feeling of it. It just feels so like, like it needs to be mixed. I'm just gonna apply this on one side it doesn't feel too bad on my skin like now that it's on there it doesn't feel too bad but when i pick it up with my finger i'm like i, I don't like the texture so i'm gonna zoom you guys in so this is what it's looking like and then we're just gonna blend it in it smells really nice it smells like it kind of smells like a vader like when you go in their store that kind of smell i do think this is gonna be like a um clean skin look like that definitely has like, that's, why do I like it? It hasn't like completely covered my blemishes. It's toned down the redness on my skin. It's sort of sorted out my under eye and it's just made me look like I've got like a blank canvas, but like it's my skin. Tell me why I love this. I actually really like this. I thought I was gonna hate it, but I think it's a case of take a little bit at a time, put it onto your skin and then blend it. So I'm gonna see if we can like build up some of this coverage. So I'm just gonna apply this more on where I need it. So just everywhere, basically. I still don't like the texture. The texture is weird. It's like lumpy, because it doesn't quite 
blend together. So we're just gonna blend this in. It hasn't got masses of buildable coverage. I'm just gonna do the other side as well and we'll see what it looks like when I've got a full face of it. Again, it's not, like I said, it hasn't got like the fullest of coverage, but it has a really nice like tint to it. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a second lot on this side as well. I was gonna do a wear test today, um, and I will do a wear test. I'll probably do it tomorrow instead, but I'm not doing it today because I really want to have full coverage foundation today, because it's a filming day. The color match is actually really good as well. It's a bit sticky, I will say that, and the scent is quite strong. This is definitely a clean makeup look. Not clean makeup, but like, you know what I mean? Like the look that everyone's doing at the minute where it looks like you haven't really got any makeup on, very dewy, very fresh. That's what I feel that this looks like. I just, the texture's just putting me off a little bit. It just makes, I don't, it doesn't make me feel sick, but I can't explain it. I have a real thing of, with texture and it just kind of makes me feel a bit mm, uncomfortable. So I said I had two other products, but like I said, I really like how this looks so far. For a no makeup makeup day, this would be perfect. So the next products I have, I have a blush in Dusty Rose, which I was testing out the other day and you, it has like this film on the top so you have to actually like dig into it to get any product. So we're gonna try that. And I also have, these are both Miracle Balms. This, which is in the shade Au Naturel. And it's another like, this is more of like a highlighter. That's what it's advertised as. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly put some concealer under my eyes just because I just want a little bit more coverage there. I don't mind the spots on my cheeks to be honest. Not too fussed about that because it doesn't look too out of the ordinary. So I'm gonna take my NARS. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Chantilly. I just take this on my finger and just press that under my eye. And I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just... So I don't know if everyone's heard of Jones Road. Jones Road is sort of the clean version of Bobbi Brown. Jones Road was founded by makeup artist Bobbi Brown on the philosophy that the world doesn't need more beauty products. I agree. We have so many different foundations, so many different concealers. Something different is probably what we needed right now. It needs better beauty products, clean, strategic, high-grade formula formulations that work on every skin type and tone, and that are as simple to use as they are to master. Jones Road is a lifetime of beauty knowledge distilled. I love that idea. So far, I'm obsessed with this foundation. So now I'm gonna go in with our Miracle Balm in Dusty Rose. I'm not too sure, because it doesn't really come out. I'm gonna dig out a little bit on my nail and then like warm it up in my fingers a little bit. Okay, that's a bit more color. And then just dab it on our cheeks and then use my beauty blender just to blend that in. I don't know about that. One, it's made my spots look very red. And two, it hasn't, it doesn't give much color. It kinda makes me just feel sticky and a bit greasy. I don't like this. I just think it's it's so like greasy. It just makes me look like I've got grease on my face. Let's try the Au Naturel Miracle Balm. It's again the same sort of thing. I just think it's gonna make me feel a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit greasy. It has that same sort of smell. It smells quite nice though. So this says, it's, a, it's all in the name. Miracle Balm is the secret of no makeup makeup. A wash of soft focused moisture to perfect and enhance skin. A light reflecting super product that is a, as versatile as it is simple to use. Wear Miracle Balm alone or layer on top of a foundation for instant refresh. Break the top surface of the balm with your index finger first, then warm up the, to soften the formula. Apply balm using the fingertips, palms, a brush or a sponge onto cheeks, lips, eyelids, or anywhere that you want a tint or glow. It has given me that nice glow. I think I need to powder a little bit. I think that's the issue. I'm not gonna go in with a loose setting powder. I'm not gonna bake. I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder and just pat that under my eye and also my smile lines okay so I still look quite sort of 
greasy. I'm gonna take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and this is good at setting but keeping that like glow so that I don't look too like flat but also I don't look greasy. Which is how I'm feeling right now. I would just whack on some mascara now. I really like this. I think this is perfect for that like clean beauty makeup. And this ambient lighting powder, like I said, just sets it, but doesn't mattify me too much. I feel like this is gonna be my summer, my summer makeup. I'm just gonna quickly nip off camera and just whack on a bit of brown mascara and then I'll be back to show you how this looks. So I've just brushed up my eyebrows with a bit of brow wax and I've put on my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. This is like a brown colour and I actually really, really like it. I think it looks quite natural. Guys, I'm obsessed with this foundation. I think my skin, although you can still see the spots, like I'm not saying it's gonna make your skin look perfect, but it makes you look like you've got fresh skin. Like you've just had a facial and your skin's glowing from within. I am obsessed. I couldn't be any more obsessed with this foundation. Like I said, I'm not gonna do a full wear test today, but I will check in with you tomorrow after I've applied it, show you how it looks in the morning and do a full wear test tomorrow for you so you guys can see how it looks and how it wears. But tell me this does not look like the best, like my skin, but better. Like it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. It doesn't feel heavy. It literally feels like I've got moisturizer on my skin. Big thumbs up from me. I couldn't be happier with this. So I will see you tomorrow once I have applied my products. Not a massive fan of the Miracle Balm yet. I think I might test it again. I'm gonna test it again tomorrow. But this foundation, obsessed. Absolutely obsessed with. So, I will see you tomorrow when I've got my What The Foundation on. And this name is perfect. What The Foundation. What the actual foundation. Okay, so I've just done my makeup with the Jones Road What The Foundation. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day. It is actually quite late, it's nearly three o'clock in the afternoon. But I've had a lazy morning, I've been doing some editing. I hate my hair today, I don't know what is wrong with it. No, right, okay. Um, <laughs> I've been doing some editing, so it's a bit later than usual. But I'm gonna leave this on until about 10 o'clock. So far, I absolutely love like how it looks. It just looks like my skin, but better. Like It doesn't look like I'm wearing a heavy layer of foundation. It doesn't look like I've got loads of product on my face. It has that like clean makeup look, which I absolutely love. So, like I said, I'm gonna leave this on for the rest of the day. So probably till about 10 o'clock, so about seven hours, seven, eight hours and I will come back on and show you how it looks after being worn for a full eight, seven, eight hours. So yeah, like I said, this is how it's looking so far. And I'll see you in seven or eight hours. Okay, I will be a bit quiet because it is currently half 10 in the evening, everyone's in bed. But I just thought I'd quickly come on here and show you how my makeup is looking. I'm obsessed with this. I feel like this is perfect for those no makeup makeup days. It doesn't say it's full coverage, it says it's light to medium, which I would highly agree with. It is buildable. I just love how it looks on my skin. It doesn't look greasy either. I have actually been out for the evening. It has. See, it hasn't. It hasn't broken up around my nose, which is where it usually breaks up. Obviously the powder's gone a little bit, but that's because it's powder, but the foundation is still on. My skin doesn't feel too, like, doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. So let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know if you've tried it. I have seen other people try it. I've seen there's quite a bit of controversy about this foundation, but I really, really like it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment below any other products you want to see me test and any questions you have for me. Let me know in the comments below. I'm really sorry, I'm so tired. Also, subscribe down below if you want to see more of my videos. I am going to be uploading on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday at 7pm. So if you don't want to miss that, then ring the notification bell. But yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day, evening, whatever time you're watching this. Keep on glowing, keep on smiling and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.